so before I go on, everything in this video is allegedly. All right. Um, so it's time to give you people another court recording of Bob Risky when he was in detention. Now, this one has a lot of details. This one is well detailed. So now go see how everything play. You understand? Not the part two of the other one. Mm, this one is another one. Now, this one was recorded on the 16th of May, 2024. Now, the reason why I want to post this one now is because, to be honest, I was waiting for people that said they want to file a lawsuit to file the lawsuit. The ones where they say he made an innuendo, he did this one, did this one. In all honesty, yeah, I was waiting for that. But as nobody don't send the paper here, yeah, maybe they will send them tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. Uh, they will send them today. Today is Monday. You understand? But before they do it, let me post. Now, now no law, well, now no innuendo. My own be say the corruption that went down in that prison must be unveiled. And anybody that has a hand in it must be casted. You understand? For those that have reputation that their name is involved, it is easy. Just clear yourself of this thing and penalize whoever is spreading rumors with your name. If it is rumor, that is if no be true. You understand? So all those talk of this thing, you people don't scare me one second. I swear to God Almighty, I am not even scared. I look at the whole thing, I'm like, okay, let me see what they are trying to do. When they are done, we'll continue what we want to do. You understand? So, truth is, if you want Nigeria to be better, you won't respect nobody. I swear to God, forget respect. Nigeria can't be better if we keep on doing all selected criticism. Is that what it is? But anyways, let's start. Hello? Yes. Hello? Hello, hi. Bob, how you doing? I'm okay. Oh. You know, are you out yet? I'm not out yet. Oh my god. Okay, so quick, but I don't have enough time because, you know, mm. Mm. I just had to, I can't really, I don't, the reason why I'm even trying to talk to you about this is because obviously I've not been talking to anybody, I've not been, mm. people have been sending me so much messages about how they're responding because I don't want anybody to know I have my phone. Yeah. So I don't know. First things first, I don't want anybody to know I have my phone. That is why Bob Risky, I've not been responding to people sending me messages, but let's continue. So I don't want to talk to somebody that I know about. <laughs> Uh, I can trust, yeah. you know, yeah. So, uh, obviously, you knew, you knew what happened to me, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. before the EFC, they, of course, they were, invest they were investigating me, mm -hmm. you know, about the cars, money, and everything, all this while. So, I knew one day, one day, they would come for me like this mm -hmm. because of the noise and all that, but it's, it's fine. So, when they were investigating me, they blocked my account, they freezed my account. Obviously, they don't want me to do any transaction on it while they are doing the, mm. their ongoing investigation. Mm. Okay. Now, before we continue, the revelation of EFCC in the House of Rep, EFCC said they never froze his account. Now, Bob is saying his account was frozen. Let's continue. So, but I'm so glad that they did not. At first, they added money laundry charges in, yeah. their, in their charge because of the money they saw in my account and all the money that passed through my account, at least. They were able, so they just saw some money share, but we were able to beg them mm -hmm. and give them some money so they can drop the money laundry charges with this. Mm -hmm. Now, he said they saw some money in his account and some money that passed through his account. So they investigated him for money laundry. But they begged and they paid the FCC some money and the money laundry charges were dropped. This is another recording entirely. So let's continue anyways. I can't be facing money laundry charges. God forbid. Mm. You know. Spraying of money. I don't say that one. I, I just, I can't, they're looking for something to just hold me. They're yeah. just eager. Mm. It's not like I'm the only one that spread money. Yeah. There are a lot of people spraying money out there. Killing <laughs> food. But you choose you want to uh convince me because mm. of spare money and um, that's quite weird mm. but you know me i'm strong and i'm ready for anything that comes my way because 
so EFCC went to his house, they carried his cards. While we were out in the house of Rep, EFCC said they did not freeze his account. Now, Bob Risky is saying his account was frozen and EFCC even went to his house to carry his car. Let's continue. This ring lights bless you on the week. WhatsApp or an email. But it's also that they were not able to find any, any of such. My money is legit. I keep saying this thing, but people don't believe. They, keep, they think I'm into fraud or I'm into picking money for politicians or whatever. But they run a proper checkup and they couldn't even find any of that on me. All the money I have. This same person that is saying that they saw some money that passed through his account. Do you understand? After saying the truth the first time, like saying don't know, saying don't cast. He concretely tried to correct what he said. So in one breath, you're saying they saw some money in your account that you paid EFCC. In another breath, you're saying, oh, the money that you're having is a legit money. But let's continue anyways. All the money I have are genuine. And the sources are, are like most of my influences, you know. Like that, that day I called the old man wants to pay me 10,000. And pounds. And I think that it's for it's for influencing. So you know, like people they, they don't know how I charge I charge a lot of money for influencing. They don't know, you know. So but I made them to understand that I charge as far as hundred thousand dollars to influence. Hundred thousand dollars for influencing. Then the hundred thousand dollars for influencing. It's CFCC, now go really invest. Nana, I'm really curious of the amount CFCC saw in this account. You understand? Ah, okay, let's go on. So, if you think you cannot do it, all fingers are equal. If some other people do it, and trust me, God bless, God bless the also. Mm. So, you know, they did all that, and obviously, I met a very terrible judge. The judge was in coming. The judge wasn't there as well. Come in, come in. He's not there. Okay, can you excuse me? I'm on the phone. Yeah. So. Wait, wait, wait. Before we continue, come in, come in. That means Bob Risky obviously had like a maid, like somebody helping him in the house. Obviously, this part you will know that he is not in prison. But the good part is that the person now asked him. Let's continue. Um, where, where are you like this? Um, um, truth be told, I don't want to lie to you. You're my person. Mm. I'm not in prison, but I'm around there. They, oh. they go in an apartment, okay. you know, because of my godfather. Mm. My god, my godfather was able to tell me, never, you will not smell that prison. Let the world think like this, but you will never, mm. you know. So I was able to talk to the deputy um, controller in Nigeria. And they said that in as much as Bob is not, Bob is not, they only have a problem with Bob. If Bob is not posting anything, Bob is not saying anything, Bob is not doing anything, that they can put me close to the place. So I can always come inside and see people as I see. I'm welcoming my family. Yeah. That nobody needs to know, to understand. So, you know, I have. So basically, Bob was put outside the prison, close to the prison in an apartment. So anytime he has like a visitor, he will quickly come inside the prison and welcome his visitor and his family members. Now, I remember that when we were at the House of Reps for the investigation, one of the prison wardens said, oh, he has the list of the people that came to visit Bob. So basically, anytime that Bob, people want to come and visit Bob, they'll quickly tell him to rush and come back to the prison to come and see the people that want to visit him. Let's continue. So I'm I'm just close I'm close to the premises too, but I'm not in there because you know, they are all scared of why do why do we want to put you in a new facility where you know they are scared of um, harassment and everything. So so but nobody knows this information, it's just you. 
Okay. So yeah, that's a that's that's a start there. And secondly, uh, my 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 husband has done a lot. So that's why I don't want to call it for any more requests because putting me out here alone in this apartment, I am well furnished apartment alone is is something. He paid a whole lot. So my lawyer called me and said, so they are trying. He got me a son. My godfather got me a new son. So mm -hmm. now we are trying to get the pardon from the federal. You heard the godfather gave him a son. He got him a son. Now in the other recording I played, he shared he spoke to Files, and Files spoke to his father, according to the other one. And in this other one now, he's saying that. Um, his godfather got him his son, meaning the story of the son. I don't know if it's true, but this is the second time he's calling his son in two different um, conversations with two different people. Now, um, you heard him. He said a well-furnished apartment that his godfather got for him. Wow, this is crazy. I really want to know this godfather, and I really want to know if this is how it works with the Nigerian prison. So let's ask ourselves the question, how many people really went to prison, all these big, big men, where they say that they to, did Evans the Kidnapper actually go to prison? Now I'm really curious about the rich people that have gone to prison. But anyways, let's continue. Federal government, that's uh, from presidents. I'm trying to get a pardon. Are you there? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, so I'm trying to get a pardon from him. That is the only one that can actually take me out here ASAP. Normally, I'm supposed to finish my term by July. Mm. Or if I'm able to get the, the uh, amnesty, that's the pardon. I'm going to leave here in the first week of next month. Right. But the money he was asking for the loss. Well, it's a big sum, not just me, we call it a big money. Mm. So we should be $10 million. And that's the thing I can even transfer. Again, in the other recording, where he said he spoke to Faz, and Faz said he was going to talk to his father, he said they paid 10 million. Now again, he's saying that the son collected upfront of 5 million, and the total money the son requested was 10 million. Era. However, in this part, he didn't call Faz, and he didn't talk about the father. In this part, he just talked about his son. Do you understand? But in the other recording, he made mention of a name. You know, okay. Well, anyways, let's continue. If I make some innuendos, <laughs> if not, I'm just okay. Yeah. So my godfather gave me five million. Uh, oh. You know, I like he has done well. Say that so again. Sorry. Says, um, Say that again. Sorry. Say that my godfather gave me brother. five million. Uh, okay. Five million. Yes. So he has done. I've uh, set. we set that one to him since last two weeks. So he has submitted the pardon. All right, so they sent five million to the son. The son, since last week, you know, he has submitted for the pardon. The old money that they agreed was 10 million naira. Now, the first thing he said was, um, I don't want anybody to know I have a phone. Number two, ESCC froze his accounts. They saw some money, then Bob begged them and paid them some money to drop charges. ESCC carried his cars. He initially said ESCC saw some money and he paid the ESCC. In the same breath, he's saying that it's legit. Okay, now when he was on this call, someone entered the apartment. That means he has like a housekeeper or a maid. Obviously, he was not in prison. And then he used his mouth to say that he was not in prison because his godfather said never. He is not going to prison. Do you understand? So now, for those of you that want to say, okay, this is AI generated, we need forensics. You understand? We'll take this to any lab so that they can authenticate if the call is true or false. Now, for those of you that are saying I defame Femi Falano or Faust or anybody, honestly, I didn't call nobody's name. Do you understand? Yeah. Their name appeared. It's easy. They should go and do a forensics on all this call. Then if at the end of the day, the call is true and Bob actually told people about their involvement and maybe later they are not involved in it do you understand then they can ask bob risky that why are you using our name why are you spreading lies about us do you understand uh -huh. because whether or not very dark man is the one that posted it this kind of news is not good if it is false if it is not true 
He don't stay in Uncle Femi with us now. Nah. He don't stay in Files the bad guy with us now. Nah. Because now nah, so all this underground story, one day you will just see an pro. Ah, no be no be Femi Fala no way collect money from Bob Risky. No be files. Eh? You know, they need to clear their name of this thing. Or oh, instead of saying you go file a charge against very dark man for an innuendo, you need to actually clear your name properly from this mess. This is a mess. This is a very big mess. It is. You understand? So instead of now to come the threatening VDM, we wanna go do the right thing. You people should ask for this audio to do to do a forensics on the call. It's not a recording, it's a call recording. It's not a sound recording or audio, maybe they record that no. We should go and do the proper investigation and let very dark man rest. Thank you very much. Corruption have no place in Nigeria. We should join on together to kick corruption out. Do you understand? We should join us together to kick corruption out of Nigeria and out of the system. Peace and love. Don't play. Like I said, I fear nobody. My only intention was to expose corruption. And that's just about it. Okay, now I understand the reason why Femi Falana went on air on an interview today to say he has been threatened by some people overtaking very dark man to court. Ah uh, ah, uh, VDM, oh, you are a great man. We all know that very, the, the very dark man said not just to give him a lawsuit, make sure that the same way you are giving him suit, you are also equal, you are equally giving it to Bob Risky as well. That is not only him, because he's not the originator of the voice. So my people, things did they happen? Oh, I just came back from work and uh, while going through news, I discovered that um, Femi Falana, known as Fast Father, um, has come on air again. Apart from the previous um, interview he granted via channel television. And uh, now he's saying that his family is being threatened. And some people say that if he continue taking very dark man to court, that they're going to buy his daughter and they're going to burn down his office. According to him, he said people threatened him. Now, my question is, do you know, we all know that this um, particular interview um, is coming up after very dark man posted the second audio record of Bob Riske. Why, where he says so many things, mentions so many people involved, EFCC, um, the Godfather, even to the extent that we even had um, someone, a third party known as a maid in that as well. So now the question is, does it mean that um, EFCC are lying or Bob Risky is lying? Because EFCC are saying another, another thing and Bob Risky is saying something else. Anyway, let's keep watching. And, uh, you know, stay in focus because now as this Femi Falana has come on air to talk about this. But according to him, he said we are going to, we are going to teach him who we are. Anyway, who is he going to teach? Is he very dark man or the people threatening him and his family? Because very dark man doesn't even have time to come and be threatening him. Very dark man is only ready and waiting for the day of the court. So that whatever going to happen, going to happen, that's all. You understand? Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Tell us in the comment section your opinion concerning this Bob Risky second audio voice record leaked by Very Dark Man. 